Google recently unveiled Bard, an innovative AI tool equipped with fascinating features such as interacting with the internet, performing Google searches, exporting responses, and even supporting voice-activated prompts. Truly, it has altered the landscape of artificial intelligence. OpenAI immediately fired back with a strategic move, releasing ChatGPT plugins to all ChatGPT4 users. These exclusive plugins were previously only available to selected users only. Could these plugins supercharge the functionality of ChatGPT4? Can they help OpenAI retain its leading position in the fiercely competitive AI arena? And most importantly, how will these plugins make your life easier? In this video, I'll walk you through seven of the most powerful and popular ChatGPT plugins. We'll cover a wide range from internet interaction, mathematical problem solving, intuitive diagram generation, and even finding money-saving coupons. Before we test out these plugins, you need to activate the plugin feature first. You must be a ChatGPT Plus member to do this. Do you see those three little dots next to your account name in the left-hand corner? Click on those. Then go to Settings. Then select Beta Features, enable the plugin. You might also see an option, Browse with Bing. You need to enable this one for web browsing. Now, let's delve into our first and the most popular plugin in ChatGPT, Video Insights. This plugin allows you to interact with platforms like YouTube or Daily Motion to extract important information such as summaries, metadata, transcripts, and much more. To enable Video Insights, you need to install it first. Under GPT-4, select Plugin Beta. Then you will see this downward arrow here, click on it. Then scroll all the way down until you find Plugin Store. Then find the Video Insights. It is under the Popular section. Once you've located Video Insights, click on Install, then close the Plugin Store. Then you need to enable this plugin. Remember, ChatGPT can only have a maximum of three active plugins at a time. As I currently have three plugins enabled, I'll need to disable one. Let's disable this one. Then click on Video Insights to enable it. Let's try out the Video Insights. For instance, I'm interested in Apple's Vision Pro, which was announced at the recent WWDC event, but I don't have time to watch the announcement. I can simply copy the URL of the video and ask ChatGPT to please give me a detailed summary using the video insights of this YouTube video and paste in the YouTube video URL. Instantly, ChatGPT uses the Video Insights plugin to generate a summary of this video. And I can understand the video's main points in just seconds and I don't have to watch through the entire video. The summary generated by Video Insights and ChatGPT is pretty good. It also provides additional information such as the length of this video, how many people has been watching it, how many likes. Now you may be thinking ChatGPT accessing YouTube is impressive, but what about internet access? I'm glad you asked. OpenAI has indeed heard our call. ChatGPT can now surf the web, leading us to our second plugin, Browsing. Just a reminder, you'll need to enable the browsing feature in Settings. You also need to select ChatGPT for Browse with Bing here. Whether you're hunting for a fresh recipe, interested in keeping up with the latest tech news, or simply intrigued by a major event, ChatGPT is your go-to. With the ability to access the internet, it delivers the information to you right at your fingertips. For instance, I'm interested in Apple's recent WWDC event, but I can't spare two hours to watch the full announcement video. So I can ask ChatGPT to please give me an update of Apple's WWDC 2023. Here you go. ChatGPT presents you a summary of the event's key announcements. As you can see here, ChatGPT says, Apple unveiled Vision Pro, a new VR slash AR headset. Apple also announced a partnership with Unity. The company also showed off new Macs, including a long-awaited update to the Mac Pro. The Vision Pro will cost $3,499 and debut in early 2024. The response is pretty solid. You can even prompt ChatGPT with, What's your thoughts on Apple's Vision Pro? ChatGPT says, the Apple Vision Pro represents a significant move for Apple into the VR AR market, an area of technology that has been growing rapidly. However, the high price point of $3,499 is a noteworthy aspect. 
This places the Apple Vision Pro in a much higher price bracket than other consumer VR AR headsets. Another aspect to consider is the requirement of a wire connecting to a battery pack. Overall, the Apple Vision Pro represents a significant step in VR slash AR technology. I would say, in terms of the quality of generated content, ChatGPT4 is truly impressive. But when compared to Google's Bard, in terms of speed, ChatGPT4 is much slower and doesn't provide you the sources of the information or links for further research. This is where plugin number three, Wolfram, comes to the rescue. Before we dive in, if you're finding this video helpful so far, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Wolfram elevates ChatGPT's intelligence significantly. Wolfram can access to real-time data, such as weather information, but its capabilities extend far beyond that. The Wolfram plugin also excels at executing complex computations, resolving intricate mathematical problems, and tapping into curated knowledge through Wolfram Alpha and Wolfram Language. Again, you need to ensure the plugin is enabled. When you see a check here, it is enabled. Let's put Wolfram to the test with a complex computation. Let's ask it to plot the 3D graph for the equation z equals x cubed plus 2x square plus 3 plus y square. As you can see, it generates this very nice diagram here that could have been quite challenging to perform manually. The beauty of this plugin is that it accommodates follow-up questions to modify the graph. For instance, I'll ask it to please represent the same equation as a contour plot. The result? A completely new graph offering a different perspective on the same data. The implications for students and researchers are profound. They now have an easily accessible tool that can handle complex computations and mathematic problems, making it easier to absorb the vast amount of information available. Not only can ChatGPT4 generate graphs, but it can also now create diagrams. Let's explore another intriguing plugin, the fourth in our list, Show Me. Show Me can create diagrams instantly right within the ChatGPT. For instance, if I'm curious about how a large language model like ChatGPT functions, I can ask this tool to please create a diagram illustrating how the large language model works. And guess what? It uses this super handy plugin and creates this incredibly visually appealing diagram right here for me. And the best part, I can edit this diagram. I can tweak it right here online. Isn't that amazing? But show me doesn't stop at just visuals. It also presents me with a concise summary a brief overview of how large language model works. Having this kind of visual representation of the topic you are interested, right at your fingertips, is just invaluable. This visual aid serves as an effective tool for understanding complex topics. It can be applied to virtually any subject that can benefit from a diagrammatic representation, making it a fantastic tool for learning. But what if the information you're interested in is in a PDF file? No problem, there's a plugin for that too. This brings us to fifth, ask your PDF. This plugin can unlock the power of your PDFs, dive into your documents, find answers, and bring information to your fingertips. When I was a master's student at Harvard, I had the privilege of publishing a paper for a prestigious data science conference, ACL. This is me, Wee Yi Li. I'm going to ask, ask your PDF to summarize that paper for me. To do this, simply copy the PDF link. Then ask ChatGPT to please summarize this for me and paste the link. And there it is, an impressive and concise summary of my paper generated by ChatGPT. We can even dive deeper by asking specific questions about the paper, like what conclusions were drawn in the paper? And there you have it, an accurate representation of the paper's conclusion. Nice. Now all the plugins we've discussed so far have been about productivity or work. But what about leisure? Let's move on to the sixth plugin, Expedia. This tool is your virtual travel assistant, helping you plan trips, discover exciting places to visit, and find the best hotel deals to save money on your travels. Let's say if you want to go to New York this summer, all you have to do is specify your dates, the number of guests, and your preferred hotel star rating. For instance, you might ask ChatGPT4 to find the best hotel deal for a three-star or above hotel near New York's Times Square for two people from July 3rd to July 5th, 2023. Then Expedia will initiate the search on your behalf. As the plugin links to Expedia, it searches the platform for the best deals and presents them to you in an easy to follow format with clickable links. 
While it doesn't directly book the hotel for you, it offers all the essential details like price, rating, description of the hotel and location. It's incredibly handy. Plus, it even provides images of the hotels and direct links to make your booking. Acting like your personal travel assistant, the Expedia plugin helps you make informed decisions and save money. Isn't that wonderful? Now, let's say you've spent quite a bit on your travels and you're looking to make some savings. Well, ChatGPT has got you covered as well. Introducing our seventh plugin, Coupert. This plugin searches for the internet's best coupons from thousands of online stores. If you want to shop at Walmart online store, you can just ask Cooper to find some coupons for Walmart for you. And it lists out many available coupons, making your shopping experience that much more economical. Isn't that super? So far, I have covered seven most powerful chat GPT plugins. Please let me know which one is the most useful to you in the comment. With the new plugins, chat GPT is much more convenient than before. The content generated from ChatGPT is always amazing. However, a few limitations do persist. First, ChatGPT can only support up to three plugins for each query. So if you want to use different plugins, you'll need to initiate a new query. This is still not so convenient. When it comes to speed, ChatGPT lags behind Google's BARD. This is likely the reason Sam Altman said they are not working on GPT-5 now, but are instead striving to optimize the efficiency of ChatGPT-4. Also, you can't export the response to Microsoft Office yet, but with the anticipated release of Microsoft Copilot, this limitation is likely to change in the near future. If you enjoy this video and want to help it reach border audience, please click the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.